DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with the same height and some differences in reach. We said it inside the octagon, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia Distrito Federal Brazil, Renato Moicano Canero. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean super boy, Do Ho Choi. All right, we've been losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. As he gets close, and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Nice 
Nice punch by Choi. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice in size. That one appears to start him. Good right hand. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and there comes the separation now. What a punch. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it. Tulse. Moikano's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice punch there by Boy Connor. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Massive head kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Moicano. Nice. Well, he's doing a nice job. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Gets up again here, but Hurton. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with his thing. Oh, nice strike landed there by Shore. Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, big knee! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh! Trying to stay in this fight! Check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. with that punch attempt. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go 
chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Nice straight punch. Well, he has landed some good shots. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Right hook to the head blocked. Good punch, Lance. Big head kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Oh, wow! He put up the sweep. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 57 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this.